Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Play vs. FASA Fall 2021 Smash Ultimate State Championship between Florida Christian School and Apopka High. I am Jeffrey Swindoll, joined here by David Aguiar, my co-head coach of the Smash Bros. esports team here at Florida Christian School. How are you doing, David? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm really excited, man. Yeah, I'm me very too. excited. We have the opportunity as an esports program in our very first season, not even just our first year, mm -hmm. our very first few months as a program to be in a state final and a chance yeah. to really um, achieve something that I think is really special, being the very first champion, because this is the first season of Smash Ultimate in right. Play Versus. Yeah. Uh, it's our first season. It's the other team's first season. Mm -hmm. And so it's a really new experience for each of us. And to be already in the final, uh, I think sets a really high bar for us. Absolutely. And we have a great desire to win the state championship, also to gain a bit of recognition and uh, prestige, if you will, yeah. on campus. What do you think? Yeah, I am I'm super stoked, incredibly excited. I'm very proud of our uh, STARS team uh, for having made it this far. Honestly, even if we lose today, I still i am I'm happy we made it this far. It's, it's our first year, like you said. Um, and we can only go up from here, right? So I'm, I'm very excited for this game. I'm very excited for the future of this club as well. Because um, I think we've really been able to showcase just exactly what we can do. Um, and hey, if we take home a championship today, then that's just, that's more credibility for us, right? Right. So, so the Stars are going up against Apopka High. They were the only team that went 7-0 and yeah. in this region. Um, whereas the Stars went 6-1. and one. So the Stars were the number two seed, a pop car the number one seed. So this really is, uh, this is not a David and Goliath final. This is a Clash no. of the Titans type yep. of final. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I think that's the way both teams wanted it. We even had yeah. uh, a player from the other yeah. team, Jay Virtus, in the chat watching our semifinals saying, mm -hmm. we hope you guys win because yeah. we want to we have the best playing against each other in the yeah. final. And I, I honestly... Uh, I, I resonate and I agree with that with mm -hmm. that kind of attitude. Uh, we want this final to to showcase the very best quality, the very best form of both of these teams. Yeah, you know when I uh, earlier I think it was the quarterfinals um, when the there were some false results that came in. I think uh, missed yeah. input and and it showed that a popka lost. Yeah, there. lost the uh, RPBHS. I was, I was a little relieved but at the same time <laughs> I was I was disappointed yeah. because you know I, I wanted our stars to be able to go up against them. I was looking forward to that. So it was nice to see it was just a uh, miss input there and, and you know it, it is number 1 and number 2 going up against each other. Yeah. So just to review the format for this uh, state final uh, for those maybe you're watching us for the first time this season. That's really cool. But anyway, the format for this final, if you've watched tennis before, it's similar to that. Just imagine that uh, the team is all one entity in a, in a tennis match. So there's three sets, or excuse me, let me start over. There's two teams of three, and each, each player on the team plays a 1v1 against a randomly matched up person on the other team. Each of those players play a best three out of five set. So whoever wins two out of three of those 1v1 sets mm -hmm. is the winner of the match and therefore right. would be the, the championship winner in this case. Got to and shut down. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Yeah. By the way, did you, uh, did, you, did you hear what song I picked? Did you notice it? Oh, I, I wasn't paying attention. It's, uh, I picked what I think is the most epic song mm -hmm. in this game. The, like the, the one that sounded to me the most state final-ish. Yeah. Was uh, is so the theme of Solid Snake? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. What do you think? Okay. You can disagree with me. D disagree with me if I, you want. I think that's a good choice. I think it's a good choice. It's just <laughs> well, okay. Shout out, shout out to uh, to uh, the the composers at, at Nintendo and and all these and everywhere all yeah. these different franchises <laughs> that are represented. Metal Gear's here. not even Nintendo. <laughs> no, I know, I know. I'm just saying in in, in general, uh, composers like shout out to the composers at, at Nintendo and at, at the other franchises that we have represented here. Um, Smash Ultimate has a fantastic music selection, I have to say. So I mean, is I forgot is what we were actually talking about. Well, we were oh, talking, we were about, talking about, is, about the format, right? Yeah, well, yeah, we're talking about the format. What else? Uh, but is Snake's theme the the best theme to to represent this moment? I mean, who knows? I mean, There's so many song choices available. In yeah, it's just we've 
we've played like the Tekken and the yeah, and the Ken and music the Ken so music. much. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like I wanted this one to sound a little different. Yeah, so. change the pace. So yeah, it has yeah. nothing to do with the characters we play. That that's no. for sure. But uh, it's an epic song. Okay. But uh, we were talking about the format. It's uh, right. best best this of one's three best in, a, in a five. Best of three in a best of five format. Right? Okay, you have to win two out of three sets. Right. But each set is a is a best three out of five. Right. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So it's a cumulative score. Uh, like I said, it's similar to tennis. Just imagine, it's like if you played tennis, but each set you would switch out the player on both sides of the court. Right. But if you've not watched competitive tennis, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're waiting for the the matchups are actually random, so we're waiting to see uh, what the matchups even are. Uh, yeah, I, I still, wonder if they actually have been announced yet. Yeah, are they still listed as to be announced? Or to be determined. Just enjoy, the, just enjoy the solid sake music yeah. for the moment. There it is. We are getting close to match time. Good thing we only have two viewers right now. Dude. And uh, probably two of them are in this room right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we do have we do have the okay. matchups finalized. We have the matchups. So we have Austin O'Connor. He's going to be going first against Antonio of Apopka. Uh, Austin is the Pokemon trainer for us. Yep. Uh, I forget which character Antonio plays. Sam is going to go second in this order. He's going to go against Elionel Virtus. I believe he is the Roy player. And Dominic is going to go against Hadriel. And uh, Dominic is would be our, uh, our Kazuya player. Yeah. And uh, Hadriel, I, again, I forget what character he plays. It's my understanding they have... There's a Roy, there's a DK, and there's a Wolf player. They have secondaries, but those yeah. are, I believe, yeah. their mains. So what do you think about this order, starting with Austin All right. um, and then going to Sam? And then hopefully we don't even have to get to Dominic. Yeah. Right? But what hey, you, whether we Yeah, do what do you think or, about that order? Whether we do or, or, or we don't, I mean, I can't even say, like, we're starting off strong or we're not starting off strong. Like, all three of our players are just they're just great. Um, I was just sparring against Austin right now. I mean, he's, he's fantastic, so... Honestly, whoever goes first, I'd say we're starting off strong. Mm. Um, I, I feel confident that uh, Austin can can get this win for sure. I mean, he's he's definitely he's on his game today. Let me see. Let me let me verify mm -hmm. which character is which actually. Like which player is which character. Um, Got to save here, but man, there's so much. We've been talking a lot in this chat because yeah. <laughs> we're getting close to state finals, yeah. man. Um, let's see here. How do we sound on the stream, by the way? Basilio, George, how do we sound? Sound good? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Should have pinned it. Yeah, it's, it's going to yeah. be a little delayed. Thank you. Okay. Bro. No? <laughs> I can't. Hold on. Let me. I have it somewhere here in my notes. You know, preparing as a coach and all. Okay, so. Adriel plays Wolf. Elianel plays Roy, as I said. And Antonio is the Donkey Kong. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, shout out to my dog, Luke, who's talking, saying it sounds crisp. Crisp. All right. With, with a K. With a K. Yeah. Okay. Which uh, I'll you take can it. read between the lines there. Okay, so Austin. Uh, okay, it's, it's I, just, so, I just messed up the match lobby. Uh, it sounds so crisp that you can't define it. You can't spell it with a C. C is <laughs> not good enough. You have to spell it with a K. Because <laughs> that's how crisp it is. Um, let me tell the other team what the m arena ID is. Hopefully we don't time out again. FNC. Got out the Fox News? No, just kidding. Uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah.
Yeah, man. This is uh, this is prime time, baby. Four o'clock prime time. Yeah. It's like, uh, there were <laughs> there were crazy circumstances last season that uh, there ended up being an NFL game kicking off at like four p.m. <laughs> last <Yeah>. year. <laughs> <laughs> on like on like a Wednesday, it w it was like around this time. It was weird. Wow. <laughs> Only a K can truly describe its sounds. Quality sounds quali it's quality. Quality, <laughs> oh, but with a K. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to, uh, to Tommy. What Shout out that? to Tommy in a uh, in the chat as well. <laughs> quality. Oh boy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's random. No. Play yeah. versus like some matches. Okay, hopefully these people can join the arena because we're gonna have we're approaching timeout again territory. I wish you could do. Oh, okay. Here's draw. Let's just get a game in real quick. Yeah. Play. All right, so this is well. I don't even know if it's on camera right now. Let's just do I this so that not, people yeah. think like, "Oh man, it started." Let me get on stream. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Picking the blonde pit. Well, that that would be uh, that's Austin. Since they're all playing on the same switch, it's yeah. gonna say draw. He just gets all the street credit for it. Oh, I see. I see Austin's play. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh yeah, because Pokemon Trainer. Yeah. Man, I don't even know if I have the right control scheme here. Oh, it's also my understanding that um, all three of our players are going to be uh, using skins that are red, white, and blue. Oh! Yeah. So, Patriot colors there, representing. Stars and Stripes Forever, of, baby. Stars and Stripes Forever. A little bit of a subtle homage to our school. So, yeah, if you pay, if you pay close attention to the skins that they use... Uh, one of them will be red, one of them will, will have a white skin, and one will have uh, blue. What? Oh. <laughs> Got some people act in this room actually thinking this is this is the state final. Yeah, if you win enough games, you get to play against your coach. That's it. <laughs> it's like a secret boss at the end. <laughs> yeah. As if I'm even would be a harder opponent than they are. Yeah, I know that feeling. But uh, yeah, it's like the it's like the the final battle that was cut out of Pokemon Red and Blue, where you actually face off against Oak, and he has like a level seventy team. Does that actually ha what, is that yeah. real? Yeah, yeah. There, there was a fight against Oak. Um, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh oh. Okay, that Rip. was definitely supposed to be a side B there. Rip. <laughs> But yeah, in the original Pokemon games, there's a, it's actually still programmed in the data. You can access it uh, with with cheats, but it was planned that you actually fight <laughs> Professor Oak with a level 70 team, and yeah. he actually takes the Pokemon that is not chosen and he raises it. So if you pick uh, Charmander, he'll have a le level 70 Venusaur to fight against you with. <laughs> it, 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 it's a shame that that fight was taken out. I don't know why they took it out of the game, but... Maybe he was originally planned as like the the champion, perhaps, yeah. or maybe it was like an after game thing, kind of like what they did with uh, with the fight with Red in Gen Two. It would have been good to have. I wish they they kept that in person. That then it would have it would have been it wouldn't have been like a little kid game anymore if it, <laughs> if it had that hard of an ending. Yeah. Yeah, he had. Um, his team is like Gyarados, uh, Executor. He has the starter that, that you don't, that's not chosen. 
Uh, I forget what else he has on that team, but it's a it's a pretty solid team. Okay. Uh, any word? Oh, are they? They're starting already. They're they're, yeah, uh, we're, they're in the chat. We're out here. Oh yeah, there's uh, Taco Tony. I remember. I remember them from uh, the Stripes game. And Stripes, by the way, shout out to Stripes. Uh, Stripes did go up against the Popka earlier this season. Looks like we're just about ready to start here. Uh, I believe that the banning process has begun. <laughs> it's the state championship. <laughs> Okay. Had to make sure. I had to kick some groupies out of the uh, yep. out of the player room, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, okay. Go to there. states and then everyone tries to be your friend now. Yeah. Just kidding. So thank you, uh, Mr. Rodriguez. Shout out to Mr. Rodriguez. Are they starting now? Then this is the real thing, yeah, baby. This is the real thing. So it looks starting. like he's. They're starting. Okay, folks. So this is game one of the state final. For Smash Ultimate of Fall 2021, we have Austin representing the FCS Stars as Pokemon Trainer, and Antonio Taco Tony running Rob. Taco Tony. Representing Apopka. Here we go! And we are on Pokemon Stadium. Low key home field advantage, am I right? Ooh. So Austin doing a really good job getting some early combos, early damage. Ooh, yeah, those. Uh and I th Those yeah. portal combos are, are deadly. It's uh, it's Ivysaur time as he's gotten robbed to kill range. Just a reminder, reminder that the format is these players will play a best three out of five set. And the winner of that will get a set point for the team. And there are three set, uh, it will be a best two out of three in terms of the sets. Austin switching to Charizard now. Ooh. Got some power. Oh. Goes off stage for the dunk. He did get the sour spot of the dunk. Rob trying to get back to stage. Oh, lands oh. another sour spot dunk and unfortunate uh, Antonio with a really clutch tech there. Yeah. Nice read on on Austin as he was getting up, throwing out that that uh, spin move. Man, Rob is. Uh... Oh, man, Austin almost walked into that F smash. And Rob is pulling off this comeback quite a bit. Yeah. Rob is, is uh, he can be quite tanky. Kind of funny since the actual Robs are like this tall. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. don't worry about proportions. Just just <laughs> yeah. give Sakurai a pass on that one. Yeah. <laughs> and Austin did claim that first stock yep. with the up throw. This is in dangerous uh, territory. But here, credit though. to credit to Tony, he did do a good job of, of coming back in terms of percentage, and yeah, it's still here he is yet to take a hit. Uh, just as I said that he was hit, but he was about to land an up smash. Yeah. Hence the uh, the excitement in my voice there. And this oh, side, the side B, B will clean it. out the, side the second stock. And uh, I think Austin is a little bit more happy now because he can get his Squirtle combos in at yeah. this lower percentage. Oh, yep. That's, he uh, smartly Squirtle, doesn't get up as Squirtle he was going to get laser beamed. Yeah. Squirtle size can really uh, cause a big problem for a lot of characters. I know as a, as a Samus player, um, he can just duck under everything I've got. I don't even know if he has to duck, honestly. Austin awesome trying to start a combo, and there okay, he does okay. with the Razor Leaf. All right. His oh, namesake. A whiff side beat. Nope. All right. He switches to Charizard! Oh. He mixes it up with the Flare Blitz! He almost took that stock early! I think that caught Tony off guard! Oh, oh and he just gets up nope. into the side B and into the laser! That's a great response from Tony! Yeah. Austin looking to uh, take this to last stock. And he lands oh. the F Smash! And it's back. Even again. He trusted the range and knew the range of the F smash and yeah. lands it on Rob at the ledge. Oh, Rob's doing some nice uh, combos there. Some good aerials. Here come and the combos from Austin. 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 Here he comes. Responds. He's got him off stage. Very close game right now. 
We're probably going to see the Ivysaur switch in a moment here, folks. Good grab. One more combo from Squirtle, and I think we're going to get Ivysaur now. No, no, Oh, he staying. goes off stage. I think that he's was a staying. bit of a misinput. Smartly rolls back out of Rob's follow up. Oh, good. Lands the up air. Okay. This up is a air. really tough spot for Rob. He does do well to land on stage. They both hit each other with their Still projectiles. Very relatively close. It's anyone's game right now. Rob landing the yeah, up smash, and Austin close. knew the DI he needed to input. Ooh, he had Rob, the tech chase Rob on the platform. Tanky. Rob. Oh, this is just a weird up smash. And he bails him out with the gyro. He just needs a shield and they grab. No. He let go of shield early. Let go of shields. And Tony will take game one. Okay. Wow, what an exciting wow. game one, folks. So Apaka will take game one of set one. Remember, it's not a it's not a cumulative score in the right. way that the regular season was. Right. And so just whatever happens in this set, all that matters is who wins the set. Right. And these games are uh, best best of five. This will be a best three out of five. Yep. So different from uh, different from best of three that we've seen before. Definitely more drawn out, uh, which you know I think is good for for a finals. I think it's yeah. a better showcase of everyone's abilities. I appreciate it. We yeah. get more smash, yeah. and you get you get more opportunities to adjust to the final. Yeah. Counter pick if need be. So. Um, Man, really exciting stuff. Uh, really back and game, forth right? game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think both players had their little strings where yeah. I think those were the the combos they were they were looking for. So I think it's good to see that both players players were in good form. Yeah. Weren't too many flubs in that one. Just really good smash play from both players. So now they're uh, banning stages in the chat. Austin will have the opportunity to pick yeah. the stage he prefers. It's kind of like uh, in tennis or volleyball when one team gets to serve. Sticking, uh, sticking with their mains still. So here we go. Apopka. Wouldn't see a reason for change, honestly. The game uh, was very close. Apopka have the lead in this set. They're running it back with the same characters we are on Battlefield now. That's a uh, favorable stage for, for Austin here. I know he likes battlefields. Good there grab go. there. Very good response. This is where Squirtle excels. Yeah. With the combos at early percentage. It's just man, Rob's Rob's recovery is is really good. It's it's hard to you can't really gimp Rob off stage like you can with some characters. He can delay his recovery quite a bit. And uh, I think Antonio oh, knows. No, he he plays his character well. I mean, yeah, yeah. that's just the simple way to yeah, say it. Absolutely. He's not gonna let himself just be gimped out. Oh, oh. a nice read off stage into the side B. It just barely hit towards the back end of that hitbox, uh, but Tony didn't know what he was doing and got it to go to take out that first stock. Austin switches, oh. goes off stage early with Charizard. He has a lot of range with his back here, just out of range of oh, that fiery no. tail. Oh man, he was oh, charging man. a raw if smash. I think even just no charge would have taken the kill anyway. And now this second stock running a little way a little bit for Austin right here. Playing some games with a gyro right now. Austin throws up the up smash. Still not enough. Rob Rob is a little bit of a heavy boy. Yeah. That gyro protecting Tony's recovery there. It actually delayed Austin's hitbox, giving Tony a little bit more of a window of time to punish. He's just going to oh. land with, okay. with the spin move. Oh. And I think Austin is giving away a little bit too much here, but yeah. props to Tony for landing his punishes. Okay. Right. That, 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 the weirdest that of hits enough. is the one that actually takes the first stock. Yeah. Let's see if Austin can pull off this this comeback. Quite a mountain to climb. Yeah. Tony still uh still with a pretty commanding lead, but it really can be anyone's game. I think we've seen Tony uh, getting a lot of work. He landed that gyro. Oh, and Austin just drifts so far down. Oh. 
And Tony's gonna okay. take game two and he's on set point right. here of set one. Yeah. So a much different game that time yeah. in game two. Yeah. I think Austin struggled a lot more to find his footing, yeah. whereas Tony looked that much more comfortable with his confirms, with his gyro. Yeah. I think it's uh, it's really on Austin here to uh, make some, some big changes if he uh, wants to see success in game three here. I wonder if... I wonder if Austin is going to. Uh, oh, that's Snake's box. I think. Yeah, that's that's. I wonder uh, if yeah. I wonder if Tony here is going to change his character. Um. Ready? I don't see nope. any announcement here. Nope. Okay, nope. they're just going to run back same characters. Okay. <laughs> Game three. This is set point for Tony. Okay. Back to Pokemon Stadium. Uh, should FCS lose his set, all is not lost. Uh, but it would be... Uh, a Popco would essentially be on match point. They would just yeah. need to win one more set of the two remaining. So we're back on Pokemon Stadium. The first stage we went to uh, that we saw, honestly, a much better performance from Austin. Let's see if he can, uh, if he can pick up a win here. Austin just jumping into that side B from Rob. Yeah. I think he's gotten punished a little bit too much. When he runs back to tape, I think he'll be frustrated by how he's yeah. gotten hit by that so many times. Okay. Trying to pick. Okay. Both players trying to really pick their spots, get an entry. Ooh. And the Razor Leaf was just going the wrong way. Yeah. Unfortunate. I wonder if Rob would have powered through that, that Razor Leaf anyway. And he just jumped over that Razor Leaf. Almost walked oh, into that down smash. There. He's got him off stage. He forced an air dodge out of Rob, but he does get back to ledge safely. Yep. And now oh. Austin's off stage. Wow, that bounce that. on the laser almost hit him. But he did just dip under the ledge with his up B. Yep, that, up, that uh, side B from Rob has really been dangerous uh, these past couple games. He even stock all things considered and finally yeah. Rob will get the grab confirm combo to take the first stock uh, but Austin in much better position than he was last game yeah oh, almost landed that down air at the two frame ledge yeah. opening and he's going way off stage look at all that rage wow that's a massive play from Tony he went all out for that Credit it, to him. It paid off. He's one stock away from taking game two, but Austin takes one back. Game three, excuse me. Yeah. Oh, oh man, we got lag. quite a bit of lag. Oh, I messed up the combo. That's frustrating. Lands oh, it down here. He can't. Not yeah. enough to beat Rob at that percentage, no. though. They've got some more lag. And you do hate to see it. Trying to punish Rob. Trying to get up from this ledge. He was just Ooh. charging an F smash there. Really reaching for that one. Yeah. He's in a really Back on dangerous safe. spot here. Nice spot dodge into the up air. I mean, uh, up smash. And now Rob, though he, though he is closer to losing oh, this third stock, yep. it looks like he's going to take game three. And that's it. And set one goes to Apopka. So, looked like we were going to have uh, a slobber knocker of a set, but oh, turns out yeah. to be a 3-0 yeah. in, uh, in Apopka's favor. Yeah. Uh, so, props to Tony there for mm -hmm. a dominant performance. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I, I believe that is their, that would be considered, I guess, unofficially their number one player. Mm. Um, but this, I mean, this is a, this is a stud team. Both, both teams are stacked, <laughs> so mm -hmm. it's not really right. uh, that much you can nitpick there in between them so we're going to go to set two which will be uh let's see here sam versus elianel elianel plays roy 
if I'm not mistaken. And Sam, as we know, is the uh, – oh, shout out to Tony in the chat. Mm. W, nice. thank you, crowd. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, but, yeah, anyway, back to set two. So, uh, right here in set two, we've got Sam Aldana. And he's going to go against a Roy player from Apopka. So let's see. Uh, we're going to get Elianel in here. And the players will decide what they're going to ban in terms of stages. Mm -hmm. Can you delete can you delete those comments please? Uh you're you're typing as FCS media. That was not me. Okay, in the chat. We got some rascals over here in the <laughs> chat. We got Jay Virtus in here. He's got the the Isaac the Isaac icon. Mm -hmm. Rip rip Isaac and smash. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Sakurai's like, what are you talking about? He's an assist trophy. <laughs> what what's the problem? <laughs> the same could be said about Waluigi, but uh, <laughs> uh, I won't go there for for right now. <laughs> uh. Okay, if you can't delete it, don't worry about it. Just don't type on behalf of FCS Media anymore, please. Thank you. Okay, looks like we're going to go right. straight into it, yep. folks. Here, here it comes. So, Ken versus Roy. Uh, this was, uh, this is a matchup that uh, Sam knew was was a possibility. And so here it is. Yep. This is set two. Sam as Ken, representing FCS, and Elianel as Roy, representing Apopka. Good uh, Tatsumaki there. Okay. Ooh, here come the combos. Nice. Got yep. him off stage. Yeah. He's just going to respect Roy's recovery back to yep. ledge. Wise decision. Trying to get some shield pressure here. Mixing up his movement with that focus attack. Here comes the Shoryuken, and this will get oh, the first yep. stock. A star KO. Of that and so too. far, so good for Sam. Looking pretty clean in this set. We're just one stock in. We did see how Tony turned the tables on Austin yep. in set one, though. Uh, don't count a popka out just yet. No. Roy wanting to land that side B. I think after uh, after seeing those couple games, uh, Austin's games, I think Sam is. Uh, I'm sure he's determined to show a pop a pop that just what FCS stars. Can oh do. man! Ooh, landing yeah. just a raw F smash yeah. mid combo for Sam. <laughs> Sam looking. Roy's, yeah, that's. Uh, what can I say? Roy is very explosive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pun intended there. <laughs> oh, man. That's a oh, clutch up tilt. Can, and if he alive. was just a little bit closer to the ledge, that would have taken the stock. Ooh, good, good uh, fish there. One more. Oh, the up tilt clutches with the sword. Got him off stage. Oh, missed the confirm. He has one right here. That will That's take it. stock that too. That will take stock too. Ooh, that's oh no, good sure you can there. Roy going really off stage. They're trying to punish Ken. Oh man, he could have got some more extra credit out of that focus attack, but it knocked him back instead. If it was charged a little bit longer, he is back to stage, trying to land with that down air as he's done all season. Roy just straight up respecting Ken's recovery back on stage, but he. Ooh. He doesn't even need to go off stage. He lands a mid-stage F smash to take stock too. Goes. Something about uh, Roy and Ken. They're, they're both. Oh man, he oh. gets a two-frame punish. He went all out for that. That was a bit risky. But uh, Sam does get back to stage anyway. 
Trying to mix him up with the movement of the focus attack. Both characters. Into the down air. This will oh, be a good oh, form. Oh, game one it, goes game to one. Sam. Oh, all right. And uh, shout out to Jay Verd is mid set putting putting comments in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> he commented while he was playing. <laughs> oh. If I saw one of my players putting stuff in chat mid set, I'd be like, bro, get back to work. Uh. <laughs> this is really still anyone's game now. Shout out to the the hungry box, uh, hungry box at Evo. <laughs> Evo, <Hungry Yeah. laughs> we're not quite there just yet. His single. No. <laughs> so, um, let's see if let's see if Jay Virtus wants to uh, wants to change up the character here. Really commanding game from Sam. Really clean. Mm -hmm. Not uh, not really whiffing many punish no. opportunities. No, there was that part at the end. Uh, on the last stock risky, where he went yeah. off stage to get yeah. that down air. Very risky which, there. When you're Ken, you only have so many recovery options. Yeah. And so if he if he missed or something and Roy was smart enough to just gimp him a little bit, yeah, Sam yeah. could have died at straight up 0% off stage. Yeah. So, okay, here we go. We're just going to run it back, same characters. Uh, Sam has a lead in game one of set two. Trying to force... A set three that would have Dominic uh, with his Kazuya in set three. Here we go. On Town and City, change this is uh, this is yep. Elianel's counter. Oh, smart Hadouken there. Ooh, good up smash from Roy. That one's kind of hard to hit, too. Oh, he put oh, the focus attack wow. the other way. I think he trusted that Roy was going to go behind him. Or perhaps a misinput. But uh, that's that's one that just strikes fear in your heart. This is really high up no, on the stage. Oh, oh, that oh, and I think turn around. Man, there's just so much happening. I can't I can't yeah, comment I, on all of it. But Sam on that elevated platform had a chance to shore you can yeah, higher to the ceiling, yeah. which probably would have confirmed here. It would have definitely confirmed. Look at how close that was. Anyway, props to Elianel getting that first stock, as opposed to what happened last game. Now taking his time. Uh oh. Gets a jab combo here. Sam air dodges back on stage. The counter. And this That's will be up. a stock. Yeah. <laughs> and I think the crowd's just used to it. We see a couple of those down tilts. We know what's coming next. Yeah. You don't want to try the same thing. Lands a focus to that. Cancels it. Almost had a punish there. You saw how small Jay Virtus' yeah. shield was. Smart oh, on the counter. Oh, this platform the, the might be platform. a saving grace. Oh, Roy wow. just barely missed that punish. That is a gift to Sam. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. Oh, the sour spot back here. Oh, really wow. good game from Jay Virtus thus far. Oh, what a trade. Oh. A two oh, the last. <laughs> and he takes the stock early. Oh, unbelievable play, and we're going to the last stock on game two. After Still a rather dominant performance from game. Jay Vernis, both these players are hitting crazy moves. Look at this combo from Sam! <laughs> Jay Vernis just oh. going to free fall onto the top okay. platform. I guess Sam's just playing it safe. Sam though. reading the tech. Spot dodge mid stage. The side beat. Oh, reads it with the F smash! Wow. What a game from Jay Virtus. From both players, honestly. Wow, what a, but uh, what a that's game. a great response from Jay Virtus. Wow. Wow. I mean, this is this is final material right here, yeah. folks. So uh hold on. This uh this set score thing might be kind of confusing. I'm just gonna put it at one zero. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, just going to put it at that. Because I don't know if the cumulative score will even work. Right. But wow, man. What a what wow. a game from both players. I mean, they're popping off. This is this is playoff smash right here. Yeah, I this mean, is, they're, this is grand final smash. They're living up to their number one seed uh, reputation for sure. So uh, just to clarify for people in the chat, each set is a best three out of five. 
uh, but there are there are going to be there are, there would be three sets max. So if a Popka win this set, they would they would win the match two sets to zero. Uh, so I hope that explained it. But uh, each each individual set is three is best three out of five or first of three wins, and then uh, it's first of two set wins. So yeah, hope that uh, hope that clarifies it for you. I think for Sam, uh, hope he doesn't get too down on, on himself there. I think Jaybird yes. has just made some crazy, crazy plays in that. <laughs> good reads in that sure. game too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, made some good reads. Had some had some good punishes. Uh, and Sam Sam is uh, playing some of the best I've ever seen him this season. So uh, both players definitely in in final form right now. Let's see if they can uh, turn it up to some kind of some kind of super form. Oh, and that will take hit. stock one. That'll take stock one. <laughs> it's just a beautiful it's thing to watch, so man. Yeah, Ken not, doing his thing. Yeah. Getting combos into a short you can never get sold. Oh man. Trying to land on stage. Roy goes off. Luckily he had one more Tatsumaki to throw yeah. out into the upbeat. Oh. Very nice. Safely shield. lands on stage. Oh, that's he turns it around. This will be a lot of damage here. Not as much as we thought, but still. Right. Nice Sam perfect shield. With He'll get some extra credit out of this. He's got Roy way off stage looking for a two frame punish. Oh man, he had oh. a chance to punish there. Oh, oh and he takes stock too. That's oh. What a surprise kill there. And Sam. Sam looking like he's very really turning like, it up yeah. here. I think uh Sam, Sam's Sam reaching got, his, uh, his anime moment. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh. Wow. Roy throwing out his shore you can, if you will. Yeah. Oh, Sam's not done yet. Look at the mix ups. Oh, getting back to yeah. ledge. Roy gives an opening. <laughs> game two That's goes to Sam. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> or game three, I should say. All right, game so three, Sam game is on set point now. Yep. He needs to win a third game against Jay Virtus. Yeah. Wow, this is going back and forth. I mean, this is And if he does, man, wow. it's 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 going to go back. It's going to go to game 3. Everything will be resting on uh, Dominic's shoulders. This is this is Borg versus versus McEnroe stuff. This is this is more recently Verstappen versus Hamilton in the Formula 1 race. This is back and forth stuff right here, man. Yeah. Wow. Look who's talking is saying that's his name. Oh. Is saying that was a three stock, which honestly I didn't even notice. Yeah, it was that a was stock. a three stock. It was a three stock. Yeah, Sam that's the most dominant game, game we've seen. Yeah, uh, with the exception of I think Antonio against yeah, I think against he, Austin. He got a three stock against who Austin. ended up winning that set. So, uh, I mean, three stock. Hopefully, that's a that's a bit of a psychological edge. Yeah. Oh, if yeah. you're an FCS fan, I know we got non FCS fans in here, um, but hopefully that's a bit of a psychological edge. Right. For. Uh, Sam, knowing that he's capable of pulling up the three stock here. What's going on? Okay. Ta okay, I type. Town I just type city. town in. T I just Hell. type. We ban town and city and battlefield. Okay. Yeah. Doing some coaching stuff over yeah. here. Is there something wrong with play versus? Maybe someone. Uh... Looks like it went through. Battlefield in town and city. That's what he said. Yeah. Hey, it looks like it went through. Also, some of them are in our. I mean, Jay Virtus is literally in the <laughs> in the yeah. chat for Twitch. So. Yeah. Well. Battlefield in town are the bands. Okay. Ready? Here we go. More time. Sam is on set point, but man, these players go back and forth. Uh, I think they've shown yeah. they're capable. Oh yeah. Uh,
if they if they land their combos, they can they can win this set. So this is not out of reach for Jay Virtus. No. Uh, but Sam can see the finish line for his set to uh, force a set three for the stars. Welcome on stadium. Do we know who the team captain is? Oh, Sam just oh. out of range there of landing that focus attack. Oh, all right. Smart. Oh, man. And Roy oh, wow. was just out of range of landing that F-Smash. Both players whiffing. So close from just, getting a, a wow. glorious smack on the other player. Both of them playing here we go. fairly safe here. Combo coming in for Sam. Let that one drop, though. Oh, oh, and Jay Virtus reads the roll on the stage. Well, yeah. into the F smash. And he'll take the first stock with his back against the wall in this set. Down 2 1. Smart Shoryuken there. Oh, man, that down air, I think, could have confirmed into Shoryuken, and he'll just run up and just, throw it out. He just does that, yep. Wow. Sometimes it's more exciting to just see the when the thrown out short you can land <laughs> than the combo ones. Yeah, it catch you by surprise rather yeah. than getting a, a a bit of a preview with the down tilts or the up tilts. And Tatsumaki landing on stage. Roy had a chance to get a little bit more damage there. Yeah, he he backed off. Uh, still playing it safe even though he has a lead. Here we go. Damage coming in. Landing with that down air. One of Sam's favorite ways to start a combo. He's off stage here. Let's see if Roy can punish. Just come back to stage and throw some down tilts. Sam Trying to cag a, a two frame. Ooh. Oh, Sam! Oh, wow. Looking for an aerial short. You can. Perfect shields okay, out yeah. of the side B. Oh, oh man. Don't I think he could have had a confirm there. Yeah, there. He could have. Good DI from Sam. Tatsumaki's back. He's going to have to make us mix up his movement. Wow. He air dodged back to yeah, stage. Oh, that old, that old. And old, this, yeah. uh, this Roy short, you can. He's going to take Sam down, do his last stock in this game four. Here comes a Hadouken, delaying Roy's get up. He's approaching back with some nares and some forwarders. Oh man, oh, Sam. That's okay, it. That's uh, looked like looked like it could have been a drop combo, but Sam's got Jay Verde down to his last stock. Sam well, is on set point. Incredibly close game. Wow, oh, two, two two perfect areas. shields in a row. Both players looking to start some combos. Landing on Sam with the Tatsumaki, so risky. Oh, oh what a delay combo from Jay no. Burtis! Sam survives! Delays his recovery back to Sage. That, that oh, was just risky. avoiding the up smash. Sam lands with a down air! Oh, oh tries no. to show you can do it! Oh, that's. Oh, it, it's oh Roy gets a jab into the back air! We're going oh, to game five! Game five, wow. And this is unbelievable stuff. Jay Burtis has put a pop gun match point. Whereas Sam is just trying to force a game, a set three. Wow, this is uh, wow, man. This is this is a state final, folks. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, it's two two in the set for the, for uh, in case we're we've lost track, it's two two in this set. But if uh, Jay Virtus wins this last game. Apopka are the state champions, and the yeah. Stars are the runner-up. Yeah. I do, uh, if anything, uh, if I guess you could call it selfishly, but I think I think both as, as, a, as a spectator. Um, right here. I think uh, selfishly as, as both a spectator, but also, you know, uh, right here. And, uh, and uh, FCS coach as well, uh, I, I do want. I would like for uh, Sam to win this, not just so that we can stay in it, but also uh, for Dominic and uh, their third player, which I, I don't, I don't remember who their third player is right now. Uh, but Hadri Hadriel, Hadriel, uh, for them to be able to duke it out as well, because yeah, if, that, if, if a pop that would wins, feel a little bit more proper to have yeah. each player actually play in the final. It'll be unfortunate, I think, if they don't get. I don't to, think Hadriel would be upset at all about that. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But you know, if this is a final. Let's make it a final. So, uh, if if anything, if, if if I'm being rather selfish, you know, oh well, uh, let's go, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that game three, or the set three, I should say. But uh, yeah, like I said before, it's anyone's game.
So this Anything is can happen. Uh, there have not been any uh, five game sets in the no. season for either of these players. I'm not sure just, you know, playing friendlies or entering yeah. tourneys. Um, so this is this is the longest either of them have had to had to push. Yeah. Had to really focus on yeah. I gotta win this set. Yeah. Uh, for Sam, you know, winning two one would have won the set even in the yeah. previous round of the of the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think the fact that there's an extended period of time, it really forces people to be mentally yeah. that much more mentally fortified. Mm -hmm. And so we're seeing uh, these players trying to figure out what's the next stage we're going to play on. And uh, man, it's it's been an exciting one, especially this set too. Wow. Both of these players popping off. And here we go. As I said, Roy, J. Virtus, El Elionel for Apopka has match point for Apopka. Whereas Sam, playing as Ken, has set point for FCS. And he needs to win this to force a set three to give FCS a chance at uh, pursuing that Very state there. title. And right into a combo. Oh, he rolled good. Sam got Elian out on ledge here. Ooh. Oh man, I think that was the first time yeah. Sam really overextended in that stock. And look at the look at the opening it gives to Roy yep. to Elian to punish him. Good change up there. Oh man, what a good Ooh. read from Jay Virtus. Yep. Reading that roll in wow. and he goes off stage against Sam. I don't think he's going to make it back. Yes, he, he will. Back. He saved his jump. Dodges that. That's and this it. will be a oh. punish. Sam takes really, the first stock. That's all it is. Just one one mistake can really just change so much. That's what high level play is. Wow. And that was such a perfectly spaced up B that the counter didn't even land on, on wow. Ken. Oh, this wow. focus attack is going to get a lot of work out of it. Stock oh. two! I can barely even speak! Oh my god. Sam is one stock away from forcing set three. There's and keeping so FCS's hopes alive of a state title. Jay Virtus there. No nonsense. Jab in the yeah. back here. But he's got to build this comeback trauma. quick. Yep. Sam yep. kind of gives up a little that, bit of damage that, there at the ledge. Yeah, Not that. too much though. Oh man. Elianel, I think if he landed that, might have been the stock. Oh, Sam going way off stage Ooh. for the punish of the down air. That would have sealed it as Fair. well in style. Landing with the focus attack. Roy just jumps above it. Would have stunned him and been a free punish. Landing on stage with the top He's got him. Oh, man. Elinel just fell out of the combo. Trying to run the dirty up smash. Wow. wow, that was thirsty. I think the back air would have done it. And there oh. he goes again with the F smash in the tech row back. And the stakes could not be higher. Just what an incredible performance. It's, oh wow. Sam is one sure you can away from sealing this, this yep. set. Got oh. some jabs on the shield. Okay. Looking like boxing out here. Roy's still in this for now. Oh. Just going for the sure you can. Oh man, I think the sure you can would have killed there, but he just hit him probably. with that kick. Sam just needs one opening. Look at him. Oh man, he turns oh. around with the F smash. And he has oh. the up smash! We're and going to set three! Dream three! No. Set three. The dream still lives for wow. FCS! <laughs> wow! Great job to Sam and shout out. Um, oh, man. Wow, just shout out to both players. Wow. Oh. This is some thrilling smash, this man. This is intense. I can't even. I can't even get a word in because there's so much stuff going on. At the this screen. is what Sakurai envisioned from the beginning. <laughs> When he programmed the 64 version of Smash, he envisioned this state final between FCS and Apopka. <laughs> Probably with more <laughs> items, too. But <laughs> uh, oh, man. Stage hazards, but so uh, it's winner take all in this set. Yeah. It's a best three out of five set. Winner take all. Dominic yeah. is Kazuya. Uh, well, unless he's trying to pull a fast one on us. Yeah. And uh, let's see. Hadriel, I believe, is the Wolf player. Um, Man. Oh. This is so, I mean. Wow. Shout out to both players there. That yeah. was uh absolutely thrilling set, man. That's.
that's some great. That's some great stuff. Yeah. Props to Elianel. I mean, honestly, if a couple things bounce his way, he would have he would have taken that set. Yeah. That's the kind of set it was. Yeah. You just made a little bit of an opening, and both players were so clinical at, at punishing yeah. when they were given those openings. That's what high level smash is. That yeah. that back yeah. and forth. Same thing with tennis. You know, it's my yeah. serve. Okay, I win this game. Your yeah. serve, you win this game. And then those little openings of a break point is when that's what makes a difference. Yeah. And Smash has a similarity in that. Yeah. So here we go. We got, uh, like I said, a winner-take-all set. Um, Hadriel is, uh, it appears he's just joined the arena. And as Leaky with the uh, wedding Mario outfit <laughs> in, in, his, in his icon. Yeah, yeah. In his icon, yeah. Of course, all of our FCS Stars <sighs> player uh, just using Sam Switch with the snake box. If, if we have any viewers wondering <laughs> what, what yeah, on earth they're all playing on the, <laughs> They're all playing on the same they're Switch. They're all playing on the same Switch, and uh, Sam's uh, icon is Snake's box that he uses during his taunt. <laughs> yeah, gotta love the Mega Man yeah, EXE. Yeah. That's probably the the best looking Mega Man, uh, in my opinion. There have been many iterations of him. That's one of the coolest. Looking I ones. don't know. I think the coolest Mega Man. No, Mega Man. You're right. You're right. Mega Man Zero is the coolest looking one. I think. I think. But the that's best. Zero. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> um, my best. My favorite Mega Man is the one that appears on the cover art of the original Mega Man game. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's just some dude with a helmet. It's great. I love it. <laughs> if you've never, uh, to our viewers, if you've never seen the original, because yo, man, this we is have a, younger this viewers. A, this is a family stream, okay? I don't want them <laughs> looking at, at fat, you know, yellow and blue Mega Man, okay? <laughs> Hey, I mean, just it, kidding. It's not like unfamily friendly. No, that was just, it that has, was just a joke. No, it's just a terrible. Yeah, box here, art. look. <laughs> yeah, for those of our, I think, I think you click something. It's not it. It's not oh, it. It's not yeah. auto focusing, but it, it's the. If you've never seen the original uh, <laughs> box art, <laughs> yeah, that was uh, what the original Mega Man was intended to look like. Someone now, actually drew that. Compare the design of that Mega Man to to this one here on in the spectator stands. I mean, it's night and day. Like, look how much cooler that one looks. <laughs> and by the way, this is us passing time. Let's just not even make any bones about it. <laughs> That's what we're doing right now. Shout out to Mega Man. Um, you've come a long way. So. <laughs> Hold on a second. Jay Virtus is saying he's so bad. Can can we can we correct this man real quick? Do you think Do you think Jay Virtus is so bad? No, I mean that was a, that was a, an absolute fantastic game from him. I have to say, you know, props to you, man. Yeah. Um. I mean, you, you if, put if, in, they, if yeah. they play a set again, Jay Virtus could probably win it. Like, he could yeah. easily win it. If they played a bunch of sets, Jay Virtus, I'm sure, would win. Yeah. Uh, it like was, half a, it was a really close game, I have to say. Very close game. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, I think maybe some players, they've never played for something where the stakes are this high. Mm -hmm. And so, like, you feel... You feel things you've never felt before, a certain yeah. nervousness. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's not the same as just playing against your, your buddies or just, you know, throwing out combos right. on your on your couch at home. It's uh, Well, maybe Jay versus is actually playing on his couch at home. Yeah, so knows? forget that. Uh, <laughs> but, but, yeah, I mean, uh, props to them putting themselves out there. Some people are like, yeah, yeah, I'm so good at video games. But then they're not willing to actually get out here and, and do something. Yeah. You know, it's like those people that play ball at the park is like why don't you why don't you join the team at school it's like nah man nah <laughs> yeah so props to props to both of these teams putting out some really high quality smash players in the first season already i can't wait to see where the quality of play goes from there um crazy to think uh after all this here we go with one last set winner take all um You know, the the awesome thing, too, I think, of uh, the way all this is set up, whether we win this or not, we also have next season. Right, you which know? is in spring, which in case in people don't which, understand. Which is in the spring. Yeah, it's not we like, it's not like traditional again. sport where you have to wait a whole – you have to wait another year cycle. Exactly. To, like, like for us, we get two shots at this, basically. So even if we yeah. don't win this one, we get to run it back in the spring. 
All right. Here it starts. Here Somebody's saying go. they're just waiting for Mario Kart. Well, I'm waiting for it too, but I'm more waiting for this set three yeah. of this state final where we got Dominic as Kazuya and Hadriel as Wolf, as Sakurai intended, on small battlefield. This is a winner take all set. The Wolf just spacing out here. I guess he's just trying to get some uh, early damage with his uh, neutral B. Okay. People throwing out moves. Looks like a button Plane. check. Low key. <laughs> kind of a game of keep away going on right now. So, Adriel is just. Uh, yeah, Adriel just hitting him with that with that laser with that gun. Uh, Kazuya does have a reflector, but it is a combo input, which takes some time and a bit of a read to pull it out. It's not just you throw it out like a down B yeah. with Fox. Uh, and that seems to be a good enough move to get the job done right now. And Dominic oh. rolls straight into that already charged F smash. Or a down smash, excuse me. And uh, I've got to be honest, this is a bit of a weird stock, but Hadrio's yeah. getting the job done. Only 12%. I mean, oh. Wow, throws out the up, the, the up B from the, from the middle of the stage. Oh, and good job with that. Okay, okay. Dominic. I think Dominic's finding his rhythm again. Yeah, Dominic, as a fighting in character, just needs a little bit of an opening to get himself started, but he is taking quite a bit of time here. Yeah. He's a dangerous damage. Landing that, oh. that devil fist into the up smash. Just like that, that's it can change with Kazuya. That's I'm the thing you. with Kazuya, yeah. Oh, man. Goes to the ledge. And he throws out that upbeat, which oh. is a bit of a safe option. Yeah. And uh, Hadrio getting a lot of work out of this upbeat. He landed three or four of those in that stock. Finally uh, got the kill on that last occasion. I think Dominic's starting to uh, figure out how. Wow, this is a clean playing. combo from Hadriel. Yeah, very he good. doesn't just know how to press B. He's definitely keeping his space. I guess he, I think he understands uh, how dangerous Kazuya can be if, if he uh, gets into you with a combo. Playing uh, kind of a, of a hit and run play style here. Nice, uh, nice neutral be there. Nice it's laser beam, but yeah. uh, the, the percentage is racking up. And I think yeah. Adriel is oh. content to do so. Yeah. That time he up beat on the shield and an easy punish for Dominic. Uh, giving him a little bit of a bailout here, a little bit of relief. Finally, take out Hadriel's first stock. Dominic is, uh, yeah, like I said, I think he is starting to figure out uh, Hadriel's play style. That being said, Hadriel still with a pretty commanding lead. Dominic really struggling to get yeah. in there to approach this wolf. Look at this combo once combos. again, as we saw in stock two. Dominic can't seem to start a combo. That is critical yeah. as an FGC character. Guess it's double fist right there into Ooh, the choke slam. Wow. Let's take a stock. Oh man, we got the close up and everything. Not yet. Got but. Game playing a little bit of mind games on me. Oh, oh wow, that could have been a punch oh, opportunity. Wow. The into the up wow. there. Okay, so the stocks are level. It's still. It's still quite the comeback to pull off for, yeah. for Dominic, but it is possible. I think this is uh, Hadriel. Hadriel here landing it, the jab combo. It's his game to lose for sure. Yep. Oh, and there's a back air. He will not lose. No. Nope. He right. will take game one of set three. And a pop cut. Our two game wins away from a state title. And uh, we got Jay Virtus in the chat saying, this is the first time I love Leaky playing lame. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, hey, he said it. Uh, yeah. He said it, He's, not me. He said it. <laughs> but uh, sometimes playing lame, I mean, if he plays plays like that, his team's going to win a state title. I don't think that's that's lame at all. A win, a win is a win. And uh, Dominic will kind of have to go back to the drawing board there. And I'm sure his teammates will uh, discuss with him what he can do to improve. We got people putting Kazuya Mishima in all caps in the chat. All right. That's when that's when you know you have people fully locked in to yeah. what's going on in this smash yeah. in this smash set.
play lame, win game. Yeah. <laughs> that's what that's what someone said in the chat. That's nice. Play game, that's win nice. lame. Play lame. Wait. Play, <laughs> I play, flipped, I flipped play it up on you. What did you say? I said, uh, play game, win lame. Oh, well, I, gu I guess it's effectively like the same thing. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Play lame, win game. <laughs> Leaky needs to play more lame. He needs oh, okay. to play more lame. That's okay. what someone said here. We need uh, more neutral B spam. <laughs> what if both characters just spam neutral B <laughs> at each other? And we got someone saying he should play Sonic. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, so here we go. Uh, game two of this set three. And Leaky took took game one. And so we're running it back on Smile Battlefield. Let's see if Dominic can get some get some better work out of this and uh, start some combos for real. <clears throat> Interesting that uh, small battlefield was chosen. I, I, I thought for sure uh, Dominic would go for um, Final Destination. I think he likes to have. Oh, well, maybe it was banned, but I think he likes to have those little oh, platforms. You get banned. like right, like right, just there. He right. down aired him into the platform, yeah. and it extends the combo a little bit. I think those pla platforms are also favorable for uh, for Wolf for sure. But you see Dominic playing a little bit more like oh, like how right. Tekken actually is. He's staying yeah. in the center of the stage, just kind of you know dancing around his opponent, staying grounded. Both oh, players really just jumping around each other, leaky jumping from one end of the stage to the other. He knows. Oh, oh man, that actually Dominic yeah. let go of shield a little bit early there, yep. and it sent him off stage. Now he's in a ledge situation here. Oh, this will be a punish. That's, that's, yes, that's, sir. That's enough. And uh, already looking much better in this game for Dominic. Yeah. Look at this punish. Oh. He's gonna go off stage, oh. and the SD is totally oh. worth it. <laughs> totally worth it. Wow. He's taking Leaky to his last stock I've in this game too. <laughs> I've never seen him do that. Wow. What a turntable! Look at that. We're only one minute and a half into this game. Let me tell you, I've I've sparred with Dominic countless a countless number of times at this point. I've never seen him do that before. That was that was impressive. Whoa, oh man! Look at Leaky just throwing out the and down smash. Leaky Somehow we're at one stock How? apiece after all the nonsense has happened in this set. I mean, uh, this game. They're just uh, dancing now, and okay, a little bit, a little bit of a combo. Here comes the approach. Dominic really cognizant of that. Oh, uh, gun. Man, that almost landed. Ooh. Oh, good good reflect there from, from Wolf uh, anticipating the neutral beat. Look at this combo from Wolf just off of that little opening that Dominic gave him. And we're back. Back to the neutral where Dominic's in the middle of the stage. Just cr trying to get some fist or foot on this, this Wolf. Yeah. Adriel jumping safely back to stage. Landing the gun. It does add up over time. Yeah. Oh, that was a bit of Kajia. a whiff from Got a chance here in the oh, up no, Oh, man. The that would have been an epic final frame right there. Yeah, that would have. Whoa. If he threw that out, I think it would have killed. Super armor through. But, uh. Oh, it's really anyone's game right now. Yeah. Either of them can win. Oh, this is back air time. Yeah, Wolf is going to oh, take stock. Oh, wow. Oh, man. And we we're really going to game three. It. And Dominic is going to have to win three games unanswered if FCS are going to claim this state title. So, man, Hadriel, like we said, just doing what he needs to do. Definitely a much um, closer game this time, though. I mean, we really thought uh, we thought Dominic had it there. Yeah, Dominic. But just uh, a little bit of struggling to start his combos. Yeah. That uh, that whole SD choke slam thing. I mean, that's cool, but. Can't really bank on winning yeah. winning championships just with that. And we are going to run it back. Same characters. Three, Straight into two, game three. One, Leaky on match point. Championship point, I should say, for Popka. And Dominic is going to have to win three unanswered. Gets this devil fist. I mean, look, he look needs at more that. of that in this, in this game uh, to keep FCS's hopes alive. Trying to deal with that gun, but I don't think yeah. he's—I don't think he's found an answer to it yet. 
And he's going to oh, super armor through it. He knew that, it was coming, and that's... That's an answer to it, I suppose. <laughs> that's a great strategical counter there from Dominic. Uh, using the specialties of his character. Wow. Yeah, that... Uh, was that forward air for Wolf? Or back air? Yeah. And Leaky getting a lot more work out of these combos when he does land one of those gun hits. Dominic having having a challenge jumping over those hurdles of those of those lasers. I'm just really surprised that he uh, picked small battlefield again. Oh man, if that would have reflected and actually hit Dominic, it would have been a kill. Oh, oh no. man, that's just an SD. A miss input. And Dominic oh, could be wow. on his last stock in this championship. Dominic is really struggling to start a combo. Oh. Kazuya is not the kind of character where you're just <laughs> where you're just getting little hits every no. 10 seconds. Uh, he's more similar to Ken in that he he lands a good succession of hits. Still doable here. We saw in both game 1 and 2 how fast things can turn around in terms of damage. Oh man, if he would have landed, if Wolf would have landed that, that would have been it's, the championship. Yeah, I mean, it's it's going to be a real rough comeback. Oh, and oh. he's going to roll straight into the down smash! And Dominic does get back to stage, lands this, this stun, and the wow. dream is still alive, but it's going to be quite the task for Dominic. Oh man, he super armored through that up B. I think that would have sealed the deal. This back air! Apopka wins the away. state final! And the FCS stars, in a heartbreaking fashion for them, will fall second place to Apopka. Apopka are the state champions of Play versus FASA Fall 2021 yeah. Smash Ultimate. So here we are. Obviously, we're we're FCS fans. Yeah. But uh, congratulations to Apopka. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. Let's see if we're going to get some interviews. I mean, I wonder if they'll be down to interview yeah. after uh, after that loss. But um, we'll let you know. But, uh, yeah, David, Yeah. I don't know. Final thoughts on this season, on that on that final. Of course, that's Man. tough. After the it's, ups and downs of, of yeah. that final that we saw just now, uh, put things in perspective for us. Yeah. I mean, uh, it, it's disappointing. Um, I'm heartbroken, you know. Yeah. Uh, I I am glad at least uh, all three of our players got to play. We made it all the way to uh, set three, which mm -hmm. I'm very happy for. Yeah. Um, yeah, it seems like uh, our, our guys just had some issues getting going. You know, um, Austin's, you know, he lost all, all three of his games, unfortunately. Right. Um, and then uh, I don't know. I I, I think Dominic. Uh, I th I think he he was he was able to read uh, the wolf, but maybe uh, I guess a little bit too late, or and maybe he couldn't capitalize. I'm not sure. Uh, no, regardless, I have a alarm going off. There you go. <laughs> yeah, got to do the dishes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, but honestly, uh, it, it was a good showing from from both teams, from from all the players. Yeah. Uh, it was great to watch, mm -hmm. and you know it's not over. We still have next season. Um. So you know, there, I, I I think this will drive them to train a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Um. And and you know, Austin also wasn't even with us from from the beginning either. He was a fairly recent addition to us. So. He'll be able to start with us from the beginning in the yeah. spring, and I think that'll help him as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I mean, all we can really do is uh, – all they can really do is keep training, right? Um, so the folks in the chat are telling us to interview Apopka, which 
Well, I don't know how they think this is going to happen. They're, they're I, not here with us. Do I interview them <laughs> in the Twitch chat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, you could give us your thoughts on the on the game in the Twitch chat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right. And, you know, I really think a lot Just of those Just say games what you need to say in the Twitch chat. Like, you're not here. How am I supposed to interview? Yeah. Okay. I uh, think a lot of those games could have really gone either way. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of them were very close. I think if, if things had been different, I think our Stars team could have very easily pulled it off if just one or two things had been different. You know, one or two missed inputs hadn't happened or, mm -hmm. um, you know, maybe one or two more capitalizations on opponents' mistakes. I, th I think it was a very, very tight game. I mean, same thing with Sam's game, you know. Yeah. Sam's game, could like, our, our, our run could have ended right there. Yeah. Yeah. I think something... I think something cool about this format is something you said earlier of uh, play versus is that it's not just one season per year, right? But we actually get uh, a fall season and a, and a spring season. We get two. And so the cool thing about this is that both of these teams being in the final, like regardless of what this result would have been, both of these teams have a standard set for themselves and they get to keep the same players. It's not like when you're in a sports team, it's like, oh man, right. that team was really good, but we're losing all these seniors yeah. and stuff like that. I mean, we they don't, they're not even seniors, so that wouldn't have been an issue. Yeah. But uh, the point is, uh, both teams know we're capable of going to the state final in this region. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a standard set for both of them and they both know, well, in our case, FCS, we know how close we came yeah. to a state title. Yeah. Apopka knowing they got the state title. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I think that's really cool that both mm -hmm. teams can come again just after winter break, really. Right. Uh, uh, coming back from Christmas and New Year's and already mm -hmm. ready to to uh, hit the Smash Ultimate again. Right. And um, I think Apopka, they could win this uh, in, in well, in, in soccer, in international soccer. Mm -hmm. They have this thing they call the treble, which mm -hmm. is if you win three the three trophies available to you in that mm -hmm. season. The one trophy would be the league trophy. Mm -hmm. The other one would be the league cup. Right. And then the third trophy would be the, the European championship. Mm -hmm. That would be a treble. Right. So here in play versus, I guess we can kind of make up one. I guess we would call it a double or yeah. the double or yeah. something. Something like the that. The doublet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, of, it would be really cool if a team would be able to win both the fall and the spring. Yeah. So I'm sure that's the that's the that's the goal that a popka has. Probably. Yeah. And uh, that our goal is to win. It's the, to stop them. The, is it, to stop yeah. them and it's yeah. to win this the spring 22 yeah. uh, championship. And all the other teams that weren't in this final are saying, well, we want to win the state the state title. So yeah. uh, I think it's really cool to have a season in the books now, um, where the teams have an understanding of where they're at as a team, mm -hmm. uh, what they're capable of doing, where they arrived in the playoffs and also knowing oh man i could have played better in that set and this could have gone different like those kinds of things yeah so i think mentally it's really cool to have an opera uh, a second chance if you will in mm -hmm. the same in the same school year right to follow up and and do something special yeah and like i said earlier you know i'm, I'm super proud of our stars uh and again this is our first year doing our first season doing esports um and then doing smash so, you know, even though we got second place, like that's still one heck of a showing, right? I mean, all, think of all the schools that, that competed out of all those schools yeah. we in, throughout the state of Florida. The mm -hmm. fact that we got to second place, even though we didn't walk away with the win, I mean, that's still, mm -hmm. I think that's still very impressive, a very impressive showing for our school and, and, and for them yeah. too. Yeah. And we weren't blown out. You know, this was a very close game, like I said before. Yeah. It had a couple, couple things been different. We could have come out with it, you know? If you were asking me, I would say set one and set three were a little bit of a blowout. I that mean, would be my honest opinion. They did uh, they, they did lose. They did lose all, all three of their games. Yeah, three of them. I mean, the only the only one, Austin had one really bad game, but still, they were close matches. They were pretty much like one stock matches, like one yeah. stock difference. Like, I mean. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. like, like the. It, it, it was, it was, it was. They, they did win, you know, three games out, out of five. Mm hmm. But those individual games, when you go back and you look at them, you know they they won, but their their person was sitting at like a hundred something percent damage. You know, like yeah. it, it was just literally like one one good read, and it would have been the difference between that game. That's really what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, they 
they they were able to seal out and, and you know props again to to them i'm just saying i i think it was still very very close and our players i think they know what they have to do hopefully to to keep growing and and really i, I still think for next season it's still anyone's game i think our, yeah. our guys definitely have a good shot at getting the championship next season so let's see if we can actually get any let's if, if any yeah. of these guys are willing to interview you um, want me to uh go is and it, ask? well let me just ask if anyone willing to I don't want to do anything. I don't think they hear us. Dominic said his hands were cold. Oh, here, I guess uh, I can give up my... Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I can hear myself. It's good. Okay, so we got here. Let me update the text on screen here. <laughs> we got Sam Aldana. This is the guy who was playing Ken. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> All right, Sam. Yeah. Um, so let's let's first talk about the result overall. Um, just the set overall. Let's just go set by set. So set one, we have Austin, Pokemon Trainer, against the Rob. Um, we heard, you know, we we knew that this was a DK and Rob, like he played both. Yeah. Um, so yeah, when you saw when you guys saw the Rob, um, were you guys saying stuff to each other in there in terms of the matchup? Well, uh, first things first, we know that Austin was really scared of the Rob. Probably more scared of any other character that he had to fight. And so when he saw the Rob, he immediately got into his own head. He was like, oh, I can't believe I have to fight him. <laughs> so I, I think... Okay, that's that's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. So I think probably in the mental game was probably what got uh, him and us in general the most. Because um, I know very well that all three of us could have won our games. But, you know, it just things, yeah. ha things happen and people get nervous and then yeah, yeah. it happens. But... Um, he learned over time, you know, he got, he did what he had to do. He kept trying to maintain control, but the Rob just kept putting things that Austin, you know, was yeah. just, he was just kept getting overwhelmed by it all. Yeah. Look, t uh, Taco Tony said, side B broken. <laughs> <laughs> Rob side, the spinny move. <laughs> Rob side B. <laughs> uh, by the way, some people are asking, is this the Ken player? I am indeed the Ken player. They must be asking because you're so bad at playing Ken. That's true. That must be why they're asking, am I right? I'm pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <no. laughs> Uh, yeah, this is the Ken player. Um, so put your put your questions in the chat or comments in the chat, and we might read it on stream. Um, so yeah, uh, what are, what are you asking? Someone's saying hi, Sam. They know me. Yeah, that's Tommy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, um, the Jay Virtus is the is the Roy yeah, player. Yeah, I there. remember. DM me on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> in all caps. <laughs> Do you solo main Ken? If you can, I mean, I. I don't know if you want to count the Shodos as a solo main, but I play Ryu for some polarizing matchups that I prefer to play him for. But for the majority of the matchups, I'll only play Ken. Okay. Uh, all right, let's get back to the sets. So uh, Austin set, you're saying he kind of just from the get-go got a little bit in his own head there. Yeah. Like he kind of just set up like, oh no, this is like the kryptonite. It's like, bro, why'd you do that? Now you're playing against them. <laughs> yeah. And like you made it, you made it, Kryptonite, if you will. Pretty much a self-fulfilling prophecy. Um. So yeah, that one was 3-0. That one must have been kind of hard. And uh, for you thinking like, oh, oh shoot, like I have to win this set or we lose the state title. Yeah. Um. And uh, I don't remember who won which one, like in what order. It you won the first one, then he won second. It was literally just back and forth. Yep. Yeah. Um. And then I mean that's one of the best. That's one of the funnest sets of Smash. I've ever watched in my life, and I've been watching Smash since like, just like forever. <laughs> that was one of the. It must be because like, there's like a little bit more of an emotional tie to this particular match, but that was some really high quality Smash, and uh, you could see both you and Elionel were going back and forth. If one would give an opening, then it would turn into like 70% one way. Like that's yeah. that's high level Smash. So what are your thoughts on that set? 
it was very volatile. I could I could tell that I had to try to kind of force him to come to me, and then I just had to take whatever opening I can and abuse the the disadvantage habits that he would give out so that I could win. And uh, it was it was really scary because I'm not very confident in the Roy matchup, and I know that he has very fast moves that hit really hard up close. So I didn't have a lot of time to think, so I just had to be on my toes the whole time. So, let's see here. What are what were your thoughts on the Roy matchup? When you realized I'm playing the Roy guy, what were your thoughts on that? Volatile, scary, but manageable. So it's more... In terms of character, I think I'll, I, Ken does fine against Roy. Mm -hmm. So it really comes down to more the, the mental game of who can remember what they have more and who's going to be able to come out on top when it comes to conditioning and things like that against the other player. So any other thoughts on that on that game three? If you got to take that, then. Just... No, that's fine. Okay. So last one, we go to Dominic versus Wolf. And honestly, this was... This was, was this was the hardest one to watch for sure. Uh, yeah. uh, like it was it wasn't fun to watch in terms of like just the actual smash that was happening on the screen, mm -hmm. but it also wasn't fun to watch because of uh, the result. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what were your thoughts on that last set um, between Dominic Ascasia and Adriel as Wolf? Well, well, according to Dominic, supposedly most of what happened was because he had really cold hands. Okay. So. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna say anything. Just going, off, just going off of that, I mean, yeah. I guess he could. I guess he just couldn't input right, and he just didn't play. The, I know he can play better than that. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That's for sure. Um, That's for sure. I feel he definitely didn't play aggressive enough. He kept trying to go for the for the super hard reads that really didn't get him anywhere, mm -hmm. and the wolf just kept trying to run away, and he wouldn't, yeah. you know, recognize what he had left to run away with. And try to punish that so for example you'd have to like take away all his disadvantage options that way when he has one left you know you can get the punish yeah whereas he just went for a random one at will and then the wolf just did a different one and then just got away too much it was uh i mean it was pretty much just like repeating he was in the middle and then like wolf would just like jump yeah do the gun and jump <laughs> uh and then uh let's see here let's see what the <laughs> chat says <laughs> john's <laughs> no 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 the cap levels are, like cap, like lying. Yeah. Are off the charts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go GG. All right. Um. So thank you, Sam. Uh. Anything else you want to say? Um. We're coming for you guys next year. Spring 2022. Yeah. That's that's kind of cool. There's like two seasons in one school year, as yeah. opposed to like regular sports. You know. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, we hope to be back. The bar has been set. State title. That's that's, that's all. That's the goal. That's all. Winning is the only thing, right? Yeah. Vince Lombard, whatever. <laughs> all right. Um, okay. Does anyone else want to do an interview? You all want? I should. <laughs> okay. So this is Dominic. Let me change the hello the name on screen here. Okay, I'm here with Dominic. He's the guy who was playing Kazuya against Wolf in that set three. Uh, so yeah, your thoughts on your thoughts on the the match overall, meaning the whole thing, like all three sets, and then uh, we'll get to we'll get to your set individually. Well, that first set definitely was more of like a warm up because it's been like an hour since I played because we were practicing like like 3:30. Mm -hmm. It's like five now, so I'm like, okay, I'm using that game first game as a warm up. There's two other games, you know, I can take this back. You know, I did all right in the first game, but um, I was I was doing hand warmers basically because my hands are really cold in that room, so it definitely messed up my inputs because Kazi has very precise inputs, yeah. and I was trying to do them and it just wasn't working. So I'm like, okay, I'll play more safe, and I mean it was very close every single time. It was always a one stock game, but I never was able to close out that stock because I couldn't get any kill confirms. Right. And the one that I did get, he died it and then managed to back air me, and I'm like, oh, well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> so. I definitely don't think I played terribly. I played to the best I think I could have in that moment. Um, of course, Wolf, one of my worst matchups, basically just get just laser and then runs all the way around that laser. <laughs> yeah. And it's like okay, and I try to reflect kick a lot. Yeah. But I kept missing putting. It I saw that. 
So yeah. each time you were mid stage and you would just like go like this or something. And he was very good at mixing up. I have to give him credit. He was very good at mixing up how he got away. Uh -huh. He would never just. I can't. I couldn't be like, oh, he's gonna roll out and then yeah. I can chase that down. No, he'd spot dodge, he'd jump, he'd air dodge, he'd do every single option. So that's very big props for him. But other than that, I definitely think I outclassed him in categories. But I just couldn't, you know, manage to, you know, use that because he fold hands. <laughs> um. So let's go. Let's go set one. And two, I guess, since you went with set three. So Austin set, set op the thing opens up when we see it's Rob. And what Sam was telling me is like Austin was like, oh shoot, like Rob is the one I was scared to fight against. I and then Sam was like, why are you doing that? Because now it now it's like you're like making it the impossible thing to overcome. <laughs> yeah, I, de I definitely think Austin. He, I think he lost the mental game before he even lost the game. Because he got very, you know, stressed. And that, of course, happens to all of us. Yeah. Because we had, you know, with our predictions, we knew who they played, but we didn't know what order to be in. Everything that could have gone wrong for us went wrong. Because I was supposed to go first. That's what we were intending to happen. I went last. Yeah. Uh, I was probably going to fight the Roy or the Rob, which I would have been completely fine with. One bad matchup is the Wolf. <laughs> so it definitely we got pretty unlucky. But ultimately, it came down to us being the better players, which APK was the better player today. So, yeah, Austin definitely, you know, lost his cool. And then I told him, I said, take a break between the set. And take a break between the set. And <laughs> which I get, you know, you're you're in the moment. You're just trying yeah. to keep that energy going. But you got to make sure to keep your composure. And, of course, it's very hard against one of your worst matchups because you've already lost that, oh, his character is easier to play than mine. His character is best yeah. against mine. Like, <sighs> but, you know, he didn't play horribly. None of us, I'm, I can say proudly that none of us played horribly. Did we play the, the the best we could have? No, but we did play a lot better than you know a lot of other people. So I'm very proud of how we played today. We didn't do the best, yeah. but we did well. Um, so let's go to Sam's set. I mean, that's that. I told him that was one of the fun. That's one of the funnest Smash sets I've ever watched in my life. Of like all Smash I've watched. Uh, now I did say, granted, I have a little bit more of an emotional tie to this than I've ever had to any other Smash match. But uh, still, just the sheer quality of Smash we are seeing from both players on the screen was excellent, in my opinion. And uh, just back and forth, Sam won game one, then he won game two, Sam three, him four, Sam five, uh, to force the set three. Um, so how did you experience that set number two? Well. That was probably, yeah, it was the most, like, hype, intense match I've ever seen. <laughs> After everything, we're like, let's go! And, like, the room was so loud. Yeah. I remember seeing Sam win that game five. He took him and he was completely calm. He got up from the chair and then just yelled as loud, let's go! <laughs> and then he, he gave me a high five and he, like, hurt my hand. <laughs> That's how That's powerful. why you lost. No, just it, kidding. It was just Sam's kidding. fault. <laughs> can't believe this, Sam. It's your fault. Um, but, no, he, you know, he brought it back. He was getting, you know, a little antsy, but we did our best. And what's funny is that at the first game, we were playing the Rocky theme music. <laughs> and then at the last game, we were playing, like, chill, smooth jazz. <laughs> so whatever works, okay. is what works. <laughs> yeah, his, his set was very good. He played very, very well. Definitely, you know, he proved that he is the best on this team. Um, he practiced the matchup. He got the matchup. And he kept his cool, which is all he needed. So uh, we already talked about your set. So let's just talk about last thing, which is... Um, I mean, this, like I was telling you, Sam, the standard's been set. Like, we got to a state final in our first season. That's the standard. Like, we know we're, we were that close. And uh, Apopka's going to be thinking the same thing, too. Like, all right, we won the state title. We should be, if we have the same players here, we have it in us to win a state title again. So next season, uh, it's a great second chance to do it in the same school year. But it's going to be even harder for all the teams because we're all going to be more experienced. We're going to know little things like, oh, man, this room's cold. Maybe I don't want to play in that in that Never room. Never again. Yeah, like stuff like that, you know. Or, okay, I need to take this long in between a game. Like you learn your little things to get, uh, and you benefit from that experience. So you know those little things that can make a difference when it's when it's this when it's this level of play. Those little edges do make a little bit of a difference. So, what's the mentality going into next season? What are things that you know you wanna you wanna change, and um, yeah, your expectations on the next season as a team? Well, I definitely think all of us are just gonna practice more because 
you know, we were at the at the start. We definitely had some overconfident players that were like, "I don't need to practice. I'm just better <laughs> than everyone else." And we quickly saw, you know, everyone lost their. I lost the first game, and then Austin lost his game. David lost his game. Sam lost his game. Everyone got humbled. Yeah. Which I feel like at is the very beginning important. of the season. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because I, David wasn't there and I underperformed, we lost our very first game. Yeah. So we went into the season with a losing record. Yeah. Now we managed to keep that winning record, but. You know, we just got to keep improving. We may mm -hmm. think, oh, you know, we're really good. If yeah. we're really good, then we should win every single time. Mm -hmm. So our mentality is be more consistent. I think that's what we're going to try and shoot for, consistency. Because me, Sam, and Austin can play like the best players in the world while simultaneously also playing as like the worst players in the world, <laughs> just if we're having a bad day. So I think we're going to strive for more consistency, trying to stay at a constant level, and just try to improve from there, work out those tiny little things that can cost us games. And, you know, I'm probably going to focus more on, you know, micro spacing, my yeah. inputs. Because if I can get my inputs down in combos, I just need one hit and I win. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's, you know, maybe three or four and I'll maybe get it sometimes. I want it to be, you get hit by me, yeah. you're done. Your stock is gone, bye bye Yeah, that's kind of the way the characters are designed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Austin, we're going to focus more on, you know, character matchups, staying chill, um, and just, you know knowing how to play every single character against every single character. Because yeah. Pokemon Trainer, that's three characters you have to learn how to play. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of work. Yeah. So he's going to put in that time. And then Sam, um, he's pretty much just got to focus on adapting to the opponent. And it doesn't matter what they do. He's just got to do it back to them. Yeah. So I think that's what we're, what we're doing in the future. And we're going to put a lot of practice in the next season so we win these. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, thank you, Dominic. Hope to take the state title next season anyway. I don't know. I guess we're done here. Uh, thank you, folks, for watching. I've been Jeffrey Swindoll, joined by a bunch of people. Um, we thank you for watching the stream. We hope you were blessed in watching it. God bless you all. We've been the Stars and Stripes. See you next season. Goodbye.